Now, what's quite interesting is when people always talk about the really good clothes for extreme cold survival and winter survival, they never mention NBC suits, and in my personal opinion, NBC suits work as one of the best cold protection things you can wear. NBC stands for nuclear, biological and chemical, and these suits were basically designed in the Cold War so the wearer could survive being stuck in a chemical attack. Um, they're sometimes called CBRN suits now, which is chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear. And basically, yeah, these suits are designed to keep you alive in the event of a chemical attack or whatever. On the left we have the British Army NVC suit, the current issue one I still believe, the Mark IV suit. On the right we have the East German SBA2 suit. Now these suits are quite different materials. The British Army one's actually a fabric -y gore tex type layer. And then underneath that there's a charcoal liner, and the idea is the charcoal liner neutralizes any gas that might get through. Then you have the East German suit that's nothing but rubber. One of the things I like about the East German suit more is you notice that the actual shoes are built into the suit, so all of the trousers are one big section. And that means that if you're wading through anything, they will keep you perfectly dry. With the British Army one, you have to try and sort of tuck your over boots in in just the right way to keep the fluid out. So the East German one has the advantage there. Of course, the British Army one has the advantage of being camouflaged. Oh, and before I go any further, I'll say... The NBC suits keep you warm because they're designed to protect, basically stop gas getting in. So most NBC suits have the actual adverse problem that in the summer, when it's really warm and you might be doing exercises, you'll get too hot in the suit and overheat because the hot air can't escape properly because it's designed to form an airtight seal. And um, this is why they work really well as winter suits because your body heat won't escape the suit and it will keep you warm. I personally used the British Army one when we got snowed in a couple of years ago and I wore that with some sort of boots tucked into it to go out and sort of wade through the snow to actually get to a shop to buy supplies. So yeah, you can use them in snow. The East German one would be even better of course because the legs are built onto the suit. And having a chemical suit would also give you some sort of chemical protection as well if you needed it. Um, Obviously, the East German one being a bright colour, bright sort of grey-white colour like that gives you a bit of a disadvantage if you're trying to hide in it, but um, you could always throw like a tarpaulin over you or something which is camouflaged. Another good NBC suit is the current German army one, I have one of those as well, but that's just sort of a solid grey-brown colour. It doesn't have any sort of camo markings on it. So it's but it's kind of more of material like the British one. It's probably the most comfortable NBC suit I have, but it seems a bit odd that it's a modern one without any camouflage pattern on it. So it's still sort of quite obvious when you're wearing it. But it's the most comfortable and they can be bought quite cheap on eBay. So on eBay you just search for something like NBC suit, chemical suit, and you should find some of these old army issue ones from various countries. I know the Dutch ones turn up a lot on eBay. And so do the British Army ones, normally Mark 3s more than Mark 4s. You can normally get them for less than £10 for a brand new suit. So, yeah, for extreme cold survival, NBC suits work very well. And hopefully if we get some snow this year and it's really cold, I'll do a video of me sort of using the suit outside to demonstrate how well they keep you warm. Well, thanks for watching.